very quickly, the United Kingdom has finally announced that they will be launching ETNs, which is basically a UK version of an ETF, uh, an exchange traded note on the London stock market by May 28th, right? Or I think May 28th is the day that they will start trading. This is extremely important. Now, I am the first one that's been saying that the American capital markets are the most important, and they are. Because you needed the American capital markets to lead the way for all these other nations to come in. Without the American capital markets, these other markets are irrelevant. With the American capital markets, these markets now start becoming relevant. Why is that? Because a lot of the direction of investment capital in the UK, in Canada, in all these other places, Hong Kong, wherever, is directed by American financial asset managers. So now that they've got the incentive to do it in America, they can start pushing the incentives in all these other countries. That's why you've seen, as soon as the American ETFs came out, all of a sudden, Brazil, Hong Kong, South Korea, United Kingdom, etc., etc. It's all starting to fall into place one after the other. Now, there's certainly, this is exciting for the UK because the UK does not have access to the American spot Bitcoin ETFs because unfortunately, even though I love my country, we are still acting like we are under the enslavement of EU financial law uh, and the MIFID rules, which doesn't allow us to list US ETFs. Can you believe that? US ETFs cannot be bought by British citizens uh, anywhere in the world as long as you are the one controlling your, controlling your assets because there's certain key information documents and things like that that is basically EU bu bureaucracy uh, that needs to be done, right? Because the way that they do it is that they have this method rules, which means that if I want to go and buy SPY or QQQ, I can't go and do that. I have to go buy an EU listed version of it, which is a wrapper. So they'll charge me a 1.5% fee and then go pay the 20 basis point fee in the QQQ and it's the same investment, but it's a little bit of rent seeking going on in the middle. The United Kingdom has basically announced its own uh, Bitcoin ETFs at this point. They are trading on May 28th. This is super exciting uh, for anyone in the UK because you can now finally free yourself from some of these other leverage trades, take some profits on whether it's MSTR, GBTC, whatever, and rotate them into uh, the currency that you are operating in, right? Now, the UK market is about a $3 trillion market. So now we have another $3 trillion market coming online May 28th. We also have the Hong Kong market coming online next month. You also have the halving happening next month. Now, they certainly will not be pushing as much daily demand as the American ETFs. But let's say all of these other worldwide markets combined do about what the U.S. markets will do. You're looking at doubling the daily demand of the U.S. markets. And you're looking at going from, you know, there was times in the last couple of weeks that the U.S. markets are hitting three, four, five hundred million dollars a day worth of net inflows. If you add the others up and it equals that, you're looking at a billion dollars of daily inflows worldwide. The unique thing about Bitcoin, which is what most people don't understand because we've never had anything like this, is that it's the same asset everywhere in the world. Whether you are investing in New York, LA, London, Dubai, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, wherever you are wanting to buy this asset, it's the exact same asset. The closest thing that you can get to that is the stock market because you're going to buy American. Actually, that's not even true. There is nothing that comes close to this because even if you're buying American stocks from one side of the world, you're still buying American stocks, right? Uh, whereas with this, it's an asset that can be custodied in the in the jurisdiction that wants to issue these um, the, these products. And it's the same asset everywhere in the world, right? That's why this, this 21 million supply uh, part of it is about to start kicking in. So not only do you have the ETF demand in the US, you now have all of these ETFs around the world, the European ones, the Swiss ones, the Canadian ones, the Hong Kong ones, the British ones, the South Korean ones, the Middle Eastern ones, the Brazilian ones, the whatever, all adding up to equal the same amount of demand as the, as the US ETFs. And you're looking at blowing out you know, a billion dollars a day worth of demand that's going on. Now, again, the UK is based on a very aristocratic system. So what have they done? They basically said that only people who are quote unquote sophisticated investors will be able to buy these ETFs uh, on launch. Now they will change that at some point once the big boys have got all their money into it, right? That's going to be completely normal. But 
that is the issue with financial markets currently. And the beautiful thing about Bitcoin is if you want to get Bitcoin exposure as a UK citizen, you can still do that, right? But they're trying to limit it so that only people with a certain amount of net worth can get access to it. And of course, that's basic rent seeking. That's basic trying to control the financial markets. That's basic making sure that the wealthiest in the country get access to the asset first, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Same old bullshit, right? But the advantage is, is that over time, Bitcoin will turn around and democratize a lot of this. But right now, they're launching it. And that's an absolutely fantastic thing. I was getting very disappointed in my country for not having a product like this uh, available for citizens, right? And now you can do it. Uh, well, May 28th, you can do it. But this is absolutely huge news. And I think, here's my estimation, I think we are rolling towards whatever the American ETFs do, all of these other international ETFs combined adding up to that. Uh, that's what I think we're, we're, we're aiming for here. And again, you don't need too much capital. Remember, an extra $50 million a day adds about $80,000 to, to, to the Bitcoin equilibrium price. Uh, and that's absolutely huge. So this is exciting news. If you're in the United Kingdom, this is really good news for you. If your assets are structured in entities that are United Kingdom entities, this is, again, really good news for you. May 28th, they'll just start trading on the London Stock Exchange. And again, we've got the halving coming up in a month. And in addition to that, you've got the Hong Kong one opening up in April, I believe. So a lot of demand vectors coming into this, and this is exciting news. Keep an eye on what's going on here and subscribe to the channel because this information is very, very important. As you've seen with the price action today, we've got Bitcoin shooting through the roof after the correction last week. I had friends telling me, oh, it's going to be a bad week. It's going to be a bad week. I said, all right, let's see. Let's see about that. And again, of course, we've, uh, we've, we've got a, a rocket ship happening here. And by the way, right now, today, the GBTC selling hasn't even finished yet. Right. So if we've got all this demand coming in today, the GBTC demand hasn't even finished selling yet. Uh, has, GZ, GBTC selling hasn't finished yet. You are we, we I cannot begin to comprehend what is going to happen once the GBTC demand uh, demands uh, the GBTC selling stops. Uh, it is going to be absolutely phenomenal. You better strap in at this point. If you are in these other countries, right now the best opportunity that you have is self-custody Bitcoin. Uh, unfortunately, they're locking out all these retirement accounts and things like that for the average person, but it just is what it is, unfortunately. Hopefully one day that will come to change. But again, UK is now going to offer Bitcoin ETFs, London Stock Exchange, May 28th. Next month in April, we've got the Hong Kong ETFs of bringing in that Chinese money. And I, and I think overall, we're about to double the daily demand from the U.S. ETFs with all these other international ETFs. So it's exciting times here. Stay focused, subscribe to the channel. And ultimately, despite all of these other ETFs, there's always only three rules to Bitcoin. Step number one, you buy Bitcoin. Step number two, shut the fuck up. And step number three, you get fabulously wealthy.